Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Sabal and your one-stop shop for K-pop and hip-hop. And today, we are back, man. If you're here on that last video, you can see I clean, finally cleaned the toothpaste on my shirt. But we are here today to check out what you can consider the debut album from what I consider to be one of the strongest groups in all of K-pop today. The group has 20 members now, but at the time they only had 10. And it is the group that y'all know is BAM! Okay, Triple S. We are going to check out their debut mini album from the what you could consider the umbrella of Triple S. And it is titled Assemble. Assemble! You know what I'm saying? There are seven tracks on this joint. We got Beam, Before the Rise, Rising, Colorful, The Baddest, New Look, and Choa. Okay? And uh, what members were on this track? While I find out who was on, on this mini album, as y'all know, Triple S. I love Triple S, okay? I found out about them through Girls Capitalism. Shout out to Levolution. Shout out to my, my triple S bias, Sohyun. And my right behind her, you know, you got Shinyi, you got Nian, you got Yubin. Like, I, like, Triple S has got so many talented members, bro. It is absolutely crazy. And we are going to check out uh, Triple S, like the whole thing, Assemble. We're going to check that out today, okay? Uh, this dropped on February 13th, 2023. So, it, it can still influence my top songs of the year list, which I haven't made yet. Actually, I haven't made. I just don't want to release it yet until I listen to some other uh, albums that I missed out during this year. So on this, we had Soyeon, Hedin, Jiwoo, Cheyeon, Yuyeon, Sumin, Nakyung, Yubin, Kaide, and Dayeon. So, you know, damn, Dayeon, main vocalist. Kaide, main vocalist. Yubin, my favorite vocal tone. Naki, absolute ace. Hedin, absolute ace. And um, yeah. Let's check it out, man. Like I said, there's seven tracks on here, and let's get into the first track. The first track is titled Beam. Light the Beam, Sacramento King style. So with all that being said, this is Triple S. This is Assemble. This is Apollo, and this is Like Comment. Did you know the only 6% of y'all subscribed to the YouTube channel? Before we get into this mini album, man, Assemble. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell to get notifications whenever I post, because it helps the channel grow and gives you the motivation to keep popping out videos for y'all, man. First track is Beam. Let's get into that joint right motherfucking now. Let's go. Okay, track number one off of the first mini album from Triple S as a whole from Assemble. This track is titled Beam. Like the beam, Sacramento Kings. Let's get into it, man. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Before we get into it, just a little tidbit I found out in, uh, when I was looking up this song. Written by Alina Smith from Liar Music Group. She's done a lot of stuff for Red Velvet, Itzy, everybody in the game. So... I got some high expectations, man. I shout out to shout out to Alina Smith, man. Triple S, you've done it again, bro. Jaden Jong, you've done it again, bro. Triangle. That 808 God Don't try, bruh. Talk that talk. Oh my goodness. But, oh my god, the production on this, that triangle work. Woo! I love this track, bruh. Diane's vocals are so yo. Diane's vocal talents 
might be the best in the group in terms of like how she can sing. Because I was watching some, also watching some live performances of Girls Capitalism. Diane hits a high note live, bro. Diane is so good, man. Oh my god, I love the flow in there too. Now gonna bum jana. Sorry, I keep pausing it. Let's go back. Shoo! Shout out to Shout out to Taeyang. Oh my gosh, Ji Woo! I think Ji Woo's in Crystal Eyes, right? I think because Ji Woo had a line, I think she had the high note in Touch Plus, but oh my god, Ji Woo! And you've been doing this part? But speechless, speechless. She doesn't want to be me. Damn. <laughs> bro, bro, bro. This this song is like a, it's just the vibe of all vibes, man. This is like late night driving down the highway. You just, you're cruising. This is so dope, bro. Like I said, Triple S. I really have a lot to say about this track other than it's an absolute vibe. I love the vocal performance on this. You know, speechless, speechless. And then Yubin and Jiwoo doing the do, doing same when they say bored. That was dope. Who else? What, what other thing am I? What, what do I want to point out? Oh, Diane went to in this part. Knock it up, binge it up. Like the flow right there was so nice, man. Instrumental is mad chill and mad subdued, but that triangle, ding, 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 ding. I love that triangle. I, 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 you don't really hear triangles that much in music anymore. I, I don't think so. But the triangle in this one was so fire, man. I, I don't think I, I think Triple S is gonna be 36 for 36, man. Every track I've, I'm ever gonna hear from them is gonna be fire, man. The the, the the day I hear a bad Triple S song is the day that the Earth is gonna explode, bruh. That day is that the day that the sun just envelops the Earth with with solar flares or something, man. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Just know that this song is fire, man. <laughs> So I'll just fire it after the playlist is a vibe. I'm gonna be listening to this song, just leaning back, thinking about everything, just thinking about life, bro. Anyways, <laughs> what am I talking about? Anyways, let's get into track number two. Track number two, I made this might track number two might be the real intro track because it's 53 seconds, but it is titled Before the Rise. Let's go. All right, track number two. Track number two from Triple S's Assemble. This one is titled Before the Rise. I figured out, it, made, it, it was easy to figure out that Before the Rise meant that the next, because the next track is rising, this one is Before the Rise. Pretty cool. Let's let's see it. Let's hear it out. Hold on, I know the chord of this track. This remix is hard. One day, it da 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 One day you lie me. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, uh, what y'all gotta tell y'all gotta help me out? What genre of EDM is this, man? Because I need more of whatever genre of EDM this is. The remix of Rising, just so dope, man. The vocal chops as well. I don't really have a lot to say about that. About that track, since it's an intro track or 
a, a set of interlude because it's not the beginning anymore. It is an interlude. It sets up the beginning of Rising. If y'all haven't seen my Rising reaction from that Triple Z dive I did months ago, here's a little like 10 second snippet of what it, what it looked like. This, this, this course is about to be so sick, man. Turn this up on my headphones. I said it was going to be sick. I didn't know it was going to be. This is so sick. It's a global pandemic. Oh, my. So, yeah, there you go. If you want to see the full reaction, go check out the Triple Let's Deep Dive in the in the iCard or I'll probably put it in the comments down below. But anyways, track number four is titled Colorful. And man, let's get into it, bro. Oh, Colorful right there because, you know, you had the, the fruit roll up or whatever that is. Uh, I don't know. Anyways, track four, Colorful. Let's go. <laughs> Track number four off of Triple S's debut mini album, Assemble. This track is titled Colorful. Let's not waste any time, man. Let's just get into it, bro. Oh. Who is doing that? Ooh. Who is that, bro? Oh. Keep that vocal child running throughout the entire song. Oh, that synth. That was, it was deep, man. Damn. Also, they said beam. Shout out to the first track, beam. vocals again i'm sorry i didn't let you finish hold on i'm gonna let you finish like i'm kanye west but diane i gotta shout you out once again your vocals are disgusting bro oh my god the layering of the vocals man Oh my god, Kaida, is that you young training lines? Holy man. <laughs> she was vocals too, man. Course. Once again, I say it in every video that I react to with it, that has Yubin in it. Yubin's vocal tone. Blah. What are you talking about? So nice. Yeah, you are so colorful. Yeah, we had good chemistry. We do? You are so colorful. Yeah, we had good chemistry. Wow, what is that? So 
Oh my god, we got the bomb in the What the f what? One more time. <laughs> Not, okay. You know, I, I don't know if you guys are fans of sports, but in sports, we have something that's called a legacy game. A legacy game is something that a performance in a game or in a series that cements, like, you, you become a legend forever because of this performance. Like Jerry West in the NBA Finals. He didn't even win the series, but he won MVP. That's a legacy cementing event. On this track, Diane, this is Diane's legacy game. Diane is cementing her legacy with this track. She she went stupid on this track, bro. She went crazy. <laughs> Diane. <laughs> Why did I press that? <laughs> Diane's vocals went crazy all over this entire track, bro. Can we talk about Kaide and Yuyun trading line for line for line? And then we got Headed and Jiwoo trading line for line for line. Cheyun, Cheyun had a part where she was doing the little runs, but, and Naki had a little, had a verse, and she was, she was rapping really well on that. But yo, Dayan's vocals, man. I love this, I love this, I love this, I love it, I love it. That deep synth combined with the, the, the twinkly, I don't even know what you can call it. The, 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 a piercing sense. Oh my gosh, this track is awesome. This track is awesome, man. It's just so positive, so danceable. You just. Da, 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 da. It's so fantastic. It's so colorful. G Woo! Triple S! Dion! Modhouse! Jada Jog! Everybody! Holy guacamole, man! Colorful is fire, man. Oh my gosh, this mini album is already. Yeah, I was already disgusting, bro. Uh, let's not waste y'all time, man. And let's get into track number five. Track number five is the baddest. No, not KDA the baddest. Triple S the baddest. Let's go. All right, track number five off of Assemble. Triple S, the debut mini album, technically. This one is titled The Baddest. Um, if, the if the person that picture is lit up on the screen isn't the person that's actually singing, I apologize. I don't make these videos. I just look them up on the internet. <laughs> Let's get it. Triple S the baddest. You already know, bro. Let's go. What is what? Oh, it's like a heartbeat. Okay, sorry. Oh. <laughs> I love the way it just the, the song just slows down on when the chorus starts. Or is this chorus? Yeah, yeah, the chorus. When the chorus starts, I love it. Strip it all the way back. <laughs> I could kill your life! Gragra boom! Gosh, who gave them this song? Hey. Something I don't, something I don't hear a lot. Is, well, not in the K-pop world, but in here we're getting so much of it. The layering of the vocals, the we got, we got the regular one, and then we get the one down low. I, I love it. I love it. There's like three different takes in your ears at once. Cause you 
got one in the it mixed to the left, you'll have one mixed to the right, and then one mixed center. It's so gross. And, and the grass. That reminds me of this part from Rising, which is a. Da -da -da -da. I'm sorry, I'm pausing so much. Let me go back. I'm not gonna pause. I'm not gonna pause. I know y'all hate the pausing. I'm wanting to get the things that I'm greedy for. Talk about it, you been. You already know we have to give it to Yubin. My God, this song is this song is I was it's very different from from the girls. I was not expecting something like this to be on it on on this mini album, but I like it. I dig it a lot. The slower pace, the chorus starts. I really don't have a lot to say about this track other than it's dope. I dig it. And Yubin was all over this track, and y'all know I love me some Yubin. And Diane as well had I think it was oh, I forgot Diane had a crazy section. Diane is great. I'm, I'm not saying I, listen. This, like I said, legacy. Diane is going crazy on every track on this, especially on these last two. On the baddest, what was the last track? Colorful. Diane has been going crazy, bro. But shout out to Naki. She was, she, I, she, were, she did good in this track as well, from what I remember. Jibu did good as well. I mean, they all did great. It's just that Diane has been sticking out in my mind on these last two tracks. I like the slower beat, like I said. I like the smoke, the group, the group smoke. I like that. I like when Jibu or uh, Cheyun says, "All up in your brain." And this chord right here, what is it? I could kill your life. So watch out, bro. Triple S, they know what they want and they'll do whatever they can to get it. Okay, they'll do it. Whatever they gotta do. They'll even come through with the with the yappa, with the fire. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but anyways, this track is fire. It's a vibe. It's, it's an asset of playlist, man. Listen, call me biased. Call me uh, call me uh, uh, someone that is, can't be objective, but song is fire man let's go to the next track the next track is titled new look that's the last full-length track before the outro so um yeah track six is getting a new look let's go all right the final track off of triple s's first mini album assemble this track is titled new look well this isn't the last track but it's the last full-length track before the outro so let's get right i don't know why i just went into that but new look let's go man Don't waste it. Hey. Talk 
not mistaken, Jin was in Triple S Aria, right? Let me know. I know Diane's in there. And Nian, Kaide, somebody else, I forgot. I like this 80s kind of throwback sound. about 90 style I'm, if i'm not mistaken i'm pretty sure the oldest member is 03 i think <laughs> what they know about 90 style bro it's just a lyric who cares right oh gee well golly Just that line right here. Da, 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 da. I like that one too, man. Oh, triple uh, S, man. Colorful. Screw the reaction. Let's let's ponder on that question a little bit. If we combine all the colors in the world, what color? Oh, no, you would just get white. Cause it, for all my Photoshoppers out there, if you have you have the RGB sliders, right? If you have 255, 255, 255, which is the maximum of all the colors RGB, you just get white. So um, to answer your question, Yuyun, it would just be white. You're welcome. You've been, you're welcome. Production, production. <laughs> oh, that is so high. Hard. Hard, bro. Now, I'm going to keep it a buck. Is that is pr that's probably my least favorite track from this mini album but it's still a it's still a great track good to great track i'm digging some sections in here a lot kaide is here what she says uh oh kaide killed that section uh what else oh the group the group core this chorus when they go new look dun, 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 new taste that was hard and then this section right here naki went yo if this is Naki, if this video is correct, Naki went all the way to the top, bro. She took it to the next level. And but she's not from Espa. She's from Triple S. She took it to that next level, and that was incredible. That was crazy to hear. I like the 80s production on this. Kind of like, you know, the weekend had this like 80s tinge to his production. But you know, not Tedros Tedros. We're talking about the weekend now, okay? He had the, he brought back this kind of 80s sound and with the after hours and and as well as Dua Lipa bringing back the 80s sound. So they got, it's, I feel like, you know, there's a little bit of inspiration from that. I don't think they, they I don't think the producers of this track directly took it from them, but they, they noticed this 80s revival a little bit and they said, let's let's bring some of that. But they said 90s style. So, I mean, do they think, I don't know, but I like that production style on this. It's high energy, makes you want to dance, get up and dance. The synths on this, the drums, 
they were nice the vocal performances as well jiwoo jiwoo Dion, crazy vocalist bro don't get it twisted that's why they're in triple s aria okay and kaida as well that's why they're in triple s aria and uh you know and i like I don't, blah, 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 blah. we're not here to talk about aria let's just keep wrapping up on triple <laughs> s this track is fire it's a it's a vibe no no it's a vibe it's a banger it's gonna get you get get you off your feet you're gonna dance i'm adding it to the playlist bro and um let's get into the final track the final track is titled choa choa what song is that even from i don't even know let's get into the last track it's called choa let's go all right last track off of triple s is debut mini album assemble this one is titled choa or chore i thought it was from i thought that this word was in nmix's roller coaster but it's not i looked it up it's a different word but anyways let's get into chore Choa? Uh, my Korean is terrible, if y'all. My Korean pronunciation pronunciation is terrible, as y'all can hear. But let's get into it, bro. Final track, and then we're gonna talk about this al mini album as a whole. Let's go. That's the same. That, 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 what? crazy bro this is like what this is like when you when you watch a, a tv show for the second time and then you can start seeing this you can you start seeing the spoilers before they happen bro this is the intro of the love Illusion, of the of the love Illusion mini album what I know y'all said that they would set up the next mini album with the, but I, that caught me off so off guard. What? Are you kidding me? Okay. Now the reason why uh, the reason why I was confused was because I was looking at the release order of the projects and Crystallize came out after Assemble, but uh, Generation or Access teased Crystallize. So the timeline of this was switched, flipped, flipped around, flip it and reverse it, Missy Elliott style, because the way that the the story the the, int the intros and outros go it would be uh access crystallize and then uh evolution or level or muhan but instead we got assemble in the middle of that so it kind of messed up with the order a little bit so this so does Asse is assemble kind of like a detour from the from the, like the, the the sequence i don't know but this was fire bruh uh, uh, that was so hard man no, wait, no, because Assemble teases Evolution, so then it would go. I guess I would, I would have to go listen to to the Cherry Talk to, or uh, the Crystallized Mini album to get the 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 sequence right. But uh, yeah, like I said, it's hard. I, I, it's fire. I like the tease the the um the tease of what Evolution was gonna sound like. I guess when you heard Cherry Talk, we were like, what the hell is that? But um, yeah, I don't know. It's fire. <laughs> Let's wrap it up and let's talk about this mini album as a whole, bruh. But that's just what I think. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments below. Did you love this track? Did you hate, uh, sorry, did you love this album? Did you hate it? Why? Shout out to Anthony Fantano. Which track was your favorite? For me, going back, I would still say that Rising is my favorite track on this, but Beam is a close second. Colorful is really good as well. The baddest, I mean, all the tracks are fire, but um, I think that top, top tier is Rising, Beam, and Colorful. The baddest and new look are in a separate tier. Uh, but yeah, I mean every track is fire, bro. You're gonna see my rankings. I didn't do it on the uh, On the access reaction, but I'll put it in the comments for that one my rankings for it, all six tracks all uh, five five full-length tracks from Assemble will be right here and um, yeah Let me know what let me know what y'all your favorite track was which your least favorite track was which member said that to you the most Diane like I said legacy defining moments on this album bro legacy defining bro whenever you think about triple s whenever you think about diane you'll be thinking about her performances on 
are colorful and the baddest, bro. Don't get it twisted, bro. So, without further ado, sorry, without further ado, we just finished the reaction. But uh, anyways, I've got one more mini album to listen to from Triple S, and that is the Crystal Talk, Crystal Talk, Chair, the Crystal Eyes mini album. And um, after I do that, then I'll be caught up with Triple S, bro, and I'll be able to finalize my 2023 songs of the year list, bro. So with all that being said, in conclusion, that was Triple S. That was Assemble. That was their debut mini album. That was Sabalin. And that was like, comment, and did you know the only 6% of y'all are subscribed to the YouTube channel? Before y'all assemble and listen to this album 300 million thousand more times, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell to get notifications whenever I post because it helps the channel grow and it gives me the motivation to keep popping out videos for y'all, man. Shout out to the waves, man. Now I'll catch y'all in the crystallized reaction. Peace.